Hello everyone, Styles by Leilani is here bringing you the natural styles of life. And today we are making soap. So, for this video today, we will be dedicating this soap to my cat, Brilliance. Um, I had him for the last 12 years. And on the 14th of January, he passed away. So... I found these little embeds. They are like super duper cute, y'all. Do y'all see that? So we are gonna use these inside of my three pound or four pound mold. If I have enough, I'm gonna pile it up high. But if not, you know, we gonna see what it do. So if y'all are interested in how I'm gonna make this soap dedicated to my cat, please make sure y'all like this video subscribe to my channel make sure y'all put on the bell so y'all be notified anytime i drop a short or a long form video lately i've been doing short front form unless i'm doing a soap but my short my short forms they good they good y'all so i also have these that i'm like gonna drop in so it can look like either teardrops or little stars or whatever the case may be so i just really want to have fun with this soap because i just been kind of down about it so we're gonna move these out the way and we just gonna get started y'all so here i have my hard oils and butters one of my hard butters is mango mango butter that i have in here then over here i have my liquid oils and butters my water for my lye. <clears throat> I also have some um, melt and pour cubes because I just wanted to show y'all how they look. The melt and pour cubes. They look really cute. To me, I would like to do like something with some ice cubes or something like that with those. I have my lye sitting over here. We have our colors, which is indigo and celadon green. Both from Nature Soap, Nurture Soap, and the fragrance we're going to be using is Star Showers. I absolutely love this fragrance. I did Galaxy Showers with that one, sold out. So, we have our fragrance. Yeah. We will be performing the heat transfer method, whereas we pour our hot light water into our melted boil oils, so they melt. So, give me a second, we're going to finish this. Let's give this a stir. And like I said, with the heat transfer method, you just need to keep stirring until everything is all melted. Okay? And try not to stir too hard or too fast. You don't want any of this to pop on you or your skin. So you, it's good to wear long sleeves. Mine's kind of rolled up. I got long arms. But um, wear eye goggles and a mask because this lie is very toxic and it will cut your throat cut your breathing okay make sure you are you are in a well ventilated space area etc make sure it's no little kids around because you don't want them to touch this so we just keep stirring and as you can see we are melting our oils and butters that way And it takes about seven to ten minutes, depending on what oils you have. Um, some oils are harder than other oils, so they melt slower. Okay, some melt faster. So it's just all about what type of oils you are working with. You have to know your oils and butters. See, we almost there. Okay. 
we just have to keep staring just keep staring yeah my favorite movie is finding nemo well one of my favorite movies <clears throat> i can watch that all day every day i also like the grinch that's my favorite movie as well uh it used to be love and basketball when i was a teenager but i guess i didn't grow and experience things and it, <laughs> idea of love have changed okay that's all i can say but yes you can see how it's melting down so as y'all know how i do my videos i split my video my soap making videos into either two or three parts with the cut being its own video because my soap making is a long um tedious job it's actually fun and calming but some people don't be want to watch that and i need my views y'all okay i need my views so i am gonna split this up this was the first part of my soap making part process which was adding my lye into my hard oils and butters to melt this is how you perform the heat transfer method so as you can see it's all melting and when you get to this part after these little ones have melted we will be adding over in our liquid oils okay so make sure y'all like this video follow subscribe etc etc okay let me know if y'all like when I split up the videos or do y'all watch the whole video. Because my analytics say different, okay? My analytics say different. So, we're going to just split this up. But I wanted to show you guys how I perform the heat transfer method in cold process soap. Okay? It's all melting. So, right now we just have a little butters left. You can also push it to the side to encourage it to melt like so okay well, thank you for watching this far bye for now make sure you check out part two of my soap making process of the soap and my rem remembrance of my cat brilliance I may have it linked up above somewhere. Sometimes I forget, y'all. Y'all got to remind your girl. I'm only one person. So, here we have all our melted oils and butters. Now it's time for part two of the soap making process. <laughs>